Burst water mains are a common and frustrating sight in Adelaide. They cause a lot of damage and, of course, the traffic chaos. But finally, an Aussie invention that means any size pipe, water, gas or sewage can be repaired without digging up half a road. As Rodney Loos reports, it's a little like keyhole surgery for plumbing. Well, as a plumber, though I've spent a lot of time waddling in um, other people's uh, excrements, and that's, can I tell you, it's not much fun. It's the legacy of time that means pipes laid decades ago just can't last forever, and replacing them means serious cost, time and effort. But what if we could replace our pipes without having to break the surface? It's a problem plumber Ed Ahern has spent 14 years trying to solve. We actually hire industrial chemists, polymer engineers to help us develop our products to where we are today. And this is how it works. Well basically it's a felt where you infuse an epoxy into the felt and you pull it into a pipe on a bladder, you inflate the bladder, the felt infused epoxy cures, once it's cured you pull the bladder out and then you have what we say is new pipe within an old pipe. The system varies depending on the pipe size and the number of bends. But although Ed's company has relined pipes for nuclear power plants and sewer systems in India, the toughest fix has been the backyard swimming pool and the humble Aussie bathroom. But now he's done it. In sewage and stormwater, generally the sweeping pipe, the bends are sweeping and the junctions are sweeping. In pool pipes, it's a pressure system and they're very tight bends. And to pull a bladder around multiple bends from your pool, uh, you know, your, your pool box at the pool to the pump, and it could be up to 10 bends, it takes a, uh, there's some resistance. He says it's now a matter of educating the public that there is an alternative to bringing in the wreckers to fix a submerged pipe. If you've got a pipe under grass that's 600 mil deep, dig it up. Don't, relining's not for you. But if you've got a pipe that's under concrete, behind a wall, under a slab, in a ceiling space that you don't want to damage finished services, we're the people to talk to. From our point of view, it was either replace the existing sewer or reline what we had. For Johan Planting, this is the second time he's used new flow. As part of building this duplex, he was told by council he had to upgrade the sewer line. To actually replace it would be, I'd probably say a couple of days, you'd have to have traffic control, you'd have to pull the road up. Um, so I'd say the, the actual um, process, setup process and management process would be a lot longer as well. He estimates a $16,000 job. With new flow, it cost a quarter of that and a fraction of the time. The process over here is probably two or three hours. And the new pipe is actually stronger than the original. This is an earthenware or clay trap. Right. Hard to fix, dig it up, looking at thousands and thousands of dollars to repair. So basically once you pump yourself, it, this just becomes the mould. Eventually all this clay could disappear, no one cares. Absolutely. At the end of the day, the pipe can, can dis disintegrate and <laughs> strong as can be guaranteed for 50 years. Ed says they can now replace pipes without digging, all the way from a domestic toilet to an entire town and suburbs water pipes. Every council in Australia, if you have water main problems, come and talk to us. We can work with you, work with us and develop strategies and systems of how we can repair your infrastructure.